and we with the very short number of drivers that we have continue to transport the number of students we have in the past? The answer is no. The math simply won't add up. Well, major changes are on the way for some families in the Carmel Clay School District as they learn bus services will no longer be available to anyone who wants them. Those changes were just announced and they come about a week before the first day of school. WRTV's Megan Sangtorum has more on why the district is creating no bus zones and what parents have to say about this development. If you live within a mile radius of most schools in the Carmel Clay School District, you won't be seeing any of these buses coming through your neighborhood. The district has created no bus zones due to a staffing shortage. It's a change some parents say they never saw coming and one that was announced just a week before school starts. That's that's a short time period to adjust someone's entire year of scheduling. A lot of parents who are working parents, um, you know, they're having to scramble here at the last minute to get child care and to get them to school. Leaders with the Carmel Clay School District tell us they've been dealing with the shortage of bus drivers for several years, and they say the pandemic has only made the problem worse. Had a number of drivers who were not able to return, didn't feel comfortable returning, um, attrition through retirements and through resignations. We finally just reached a point where we did not have enough drivers to service the routes that we had to, to deliver our kids. The assistant director of facilities and transportation tells us they have around 134 routes that need to be covered. But as of right now, they only have 90 drivers. We are, we've been, you know, pretty consistent in our messaging that we're 40, 50, and at this point a little more than 50 drivers short. He says a new three-tiered schedule will allow bus drivers to drive more than one route. But that change, along with asking families to voluntarily opt out of bus service, still wasn't enough. So now those in the no bus zone will have to drive their kids or let them walk to school. I don't know if I'd let my kid walk to school any time before middle school. And it, it really depend on the roads and where I was. Um, it's just these days you never know. Um, we are lucky enough that I am staying at home with the children. And so I'm thankful for that, but that's not what everyone has. I do feel bad that the it, this is what we're able to offer them because this is not the level of service we would like to offer them. And I want them to know that this is not something we want to be a permanent thing for them as far as, you know, lessening the number of kids who can ride buses. But it was a necessity working for you. Megan Sanctorum WRTV. Well, leaders with the district say they anticipate more parents driving their kids to school. So in order to help alleviate some of the traffic issues that might come with that, they will be opening the schools at 715 in the morning. That's about a half hour before school starts to allow a larger window for student drop off.